changed very much in the, how we work with Svikola. Because when you move from crops to cultures, that's a big change. That makes us uh, less depending on the material that we see. The, this idea with Plantagon was born, it's about 10 years ago now. Uh, I was sitting at the World Trade Center with Chief Oren Lyons. Uh, he's now the chairman and representative of the main owner of Plantagon. Uh, we had been touring for two weeks, doing seminars on corporate social responsibility or ethics within the business community. And we had been doing that at the time for four, maybe five years. So we got to know each other quite well. Uh, suddenly, Oren asked me if I could help the North American indigenous peoples to find other ways of earning money or doing business than running casinos or selling tobacco, which many nations in North America, indigenous nations, are doing still. Uh, I was very surprised to get that question, of course. Uh, I was honored and I couldn't help starting to think about that. And then I remembered uh, an innovator that contacted me about two years before that time uh, with a spectacular idea of how to grow vertical. His name is Åke Olsson. Uh, when he came with this suggestion to me, I, I didn't have the time or energy to help him. But uh, I kind of felt that there could be a connection between an indigenous culture and growing your own food. So I called Orki. Uh, the innovation was still free. And then I proposed this as a business idea for, <coughs> for Onondaga Nation, the nation that Oran Lions represents. And after many, many years of discussions, it actually took us six years to agree on how to do this. Uh, we, we founded Plantagon at the beginning of 2008. January 29th, 2008, on Onondaga Nation, we founded Plantagon. Of course, there's, uh, there's another angle to Plantagon. The name is not by coincidence. There's a lot of politics in Plantagon as well, because the greenhouses, that's what we do. That's the core business. That's uh, the reason that we have been developing so fast, because we have an extremely good innovation and a global demand for our innovation. But there's a second reason for us to, to, to start the company, and that is that we want to show that you can run this kind of international business with a totally different and more sustainable value base than most of the other companies have. So we agreed also when we started Plantagon to go very, very far when it comes to uh, ethics, uh, responsibilities, and sharing with other people what we uh, achieve in here. We call this model a companization. It's like a mix between a non-profit association and a company. So we aim at being both. We want to run good business and we want to open up the business, make it transparent and uh, more democratically run and uh, governed than many other companies. The reason why we do this is that we think it's essential to change the perspective on why we do business. And we have to change the business from more being run by greed uh, to be more run by responsibilities. Because uh, that's where we are today. Uh, business have responsibilities for our survival. Varför det är det så himla kul att uh, börja jobba här på Plantagon är ju för att få med om en grej som är få förunnat. Uh, det är en unik uh, affärsidé som vi nu ska uh, förverkliga. Att få vara med om att bygga växthus på höjden uh, i storstäder dessutom är helt fantastiskt. Och, att få en del att skapa förutsättningar för att klara av det eh, via Plantagon som en eh, del av en ledningsgrupp är också väldigt utmanande och, och, och kommer bli väldigt, väldigt kul.
Spännande. My name is Mats Hellström. I've been formerly Minister of Foreign Trade, Minister of European Affairs and of Agriculture in the Swedish Cabinet. I've been ambassador for Sweden to Germany and uh, I've been governor of the province of Stockholm. And I think perhaps that I could, could contribute to Plantagon. There's something uh, in the sphere, the combination of sustainability and innovation. Many people don't recognize that sustainability, sustainable solutions, often requires innovation. Jag heter Anders Mordink och står för den gröna intelligensen. Och rollen är väl egentligen helt enkelt att se till att säkra hållbarhetsfrågan i det hela. Så att tanke, det som, så som jag ser det så är det ju en oerhört spännande sak att jobba med att kunna få till det här, de här växthusen och liknande så att man bidrar till, till en hållbar samhällsutveckling på ett sådant här skojigt och intressant sätt. Det är ju nya grepp. De här nya greppen är ju jätteroliga att vara med och, kunna, vara, vara med och ta fram helt enkelt och se till att det görs på ett hållbart sätt. Hi, my name is Stefan. Uh, I'm coming from Sveco. We are the engineers in this project and we are working in general with sustainable concepts and uh, this is very interesting for us to be in this project because we think that we can um, have, have something very interesting to, to, to give to this project uh, according to those engineering concepts that we are working with generally in all over the world. We need to have something for the future and next generation to produce food. And uh, greenhouse and growing uh, crops in on, on a high level is something for the future. So that's why I'm in this project together with Plantagon. Yeah, I'm uh, Mia Christiansson. And what I'm doing as an ambassador to Plantagon is to introduce us, to tell about our ideas, our visions, uh, telling about where we are going and uh, create the attention for us. And also to start, start up relationships as we did in Chicago. I had my first seminar in Chicago and uh, that went very, very well. I'm Prashant Brambat, Global Director for Corporate Citizenship. The company will be delivering a food security solution, and that is what my objective is, is to bring this to all the nations in this world to become self-sufficient. The dividends are what we are looking at in the future as a sustainable social community. By 2025, the year 2025, where are we then? With, with Plantagon, I mean. Um, to put it simple, I think we are feeding from 1,000 Plantagon's houses, greenhouses all over the world, 400 million people. We will be one million members on the nonprofit side of Plantagon. And the organizational model, companization, uh, is an accepted way of how to organize a, um, for an entrepreneur that wants to achieve more than earning money. This is a very well known organizational model. So I think 1,000 houses, one million members, an acceptance globally for the compensation model. That would be my vision for 2025.